Hi guys, welcome to the solo 100k run of this week's Nightfall Ordeal. It's the Inverted Spire. I've already done a normal version of this, but as I said in that video, I wanted to do 100k. I felt it was very possible. Turns out it's actually more efficient than doing the normal one. You can see the weapons and the armor I've got here. I've got three mods that are very important from the Seasonal Artifact. That is Overload Grenades, so Void Grenades. Are really strong against Overload Champions, Overload champions then there's the increased uh, avoid uh, increased effects of of overload uh, the overload effect on those champions and then there's oppressed darkness now i think the first two are in the fourth row and the oppressed darkness is in the final row of the seasonal artifact grenades are going to be very important uh void grenades and especially going to be very important in this strike and i think for dps on any bosses void grenades now i think bungie have kind of pushed it in the direction that the void subclasses are very strong now because of those those mods from the seasonal artifact now basically this nightfall doesn't start until you get past not this teleporter the next one now the it's kind of changed for the 100k because it t now you've got 20 minutes to score points. And you don't lose points at the same rate you did, but you still can earn points. You just, it seems like you might earn them at a reduced value. That's really good. I think that's been made in mind with stuff like uh, the Scarlet Keep. But for some of the original Nightfalls, it's going to make getting 100k a lot easier and this one is prime example because if anybody remembers the runs i done last year on this i used to say this is one of the hardest to get the 100k on because there just wasn't the points not really the case now so when you get here you're going to have these four hobgoblins waiting for you you're also at this moment you've got three champions and a whole host of hobgoblins spawning and on the plateau below here the, the ledge below the ground level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my grenades and the Ariana Vow to take out at least two of the champions before we get down. So I've hit one with a grenade and you'll see the amount of damage that it does. We're waiting for his shield to go up and it will also take his shield down faster. And once you take it down, as you can see, I've got another grenade back. And I think that, that is because I was taking enemies out and the the gauntlets really, really, really improve the recharge rate is you can't you can't predict how much you're going to get back it's just luck of the draw how much grenade energy you're going to get back so once you take the shield down make sure you're trying to land crits the ariana works better on crit i mean as you can see 14 nearly fifteen thousand on a crit i love this scout rifle the scout rifle i'm using the perks are snapshot sites and obviously explosive payload it, it, it's the exact same archetype as the Maider. very very good scout rifle for anybody that doesn't know you get this from gambit prime it is a gambit prime scout rifle so keep a lookout for this loadout it's, it's now my favorite weapon for crucible and pve so now that we've dropped down now we're going to get the the meat of of our enemies now as you can see i have no idea why that never killed him, but that should have killed that champion. It didn't. The Hydra started hitting me. Don't trade. Don't try and trade blows of the Hydra's firing you. Switch tactic and go after the second Hydra. Wait for your grenade to come back and stick your grenade right in that corner, right on top of the Hydra. Any ads that kind of get in too close to it or that are around it will die as well. And, and as you can see here, the Ariana doesn't really care about the, the Hydra shields. It's a very, very good thing that, that it's all shields. So later on in this strike, you're going to see me actually shoot through an, a, a, a Vex Goblin, a Sniper, a Hobgoblin shield when it does that kind of fiery thing where it gets its health back. The Ariana will shoot through that and kill it. So we're just trying to clear up all the enemies now. We've got a grenade. Reload Ariana. Put a, wait for this Hobgoblin to stop the barrier champ and... If you're hitting crits, he won't get his shield back. Now, yes, it does make the whole Hobgoblin a crit spot. So, hitting crits is not really too too important. But, uh, 
try and hit the menu. We get in, get into the habit of timing it. I said this in the normal video as well. Get into the habit of timing it. So couple, there's there's three normals and an exploder down here. Take them out for the additional points. It's not important. You'll see at the end we're four or five thousand over the threshold, so it's not really important. I was doing it to see if I could get special because the barrier champions take so much so much shots sometimes. It's it's a good idea to keep you keep an eye on your special. Now we've got four more barrier champions. So for this first section, the reason I didn't use my super earlier is because we're keeping it for here. We're going to wait for these two barriers to start walking back towards each other, which they will do. As soon as they're close enough, I'll put a grenade in the center of them, which starts weakening them, and then the super kills them. Simple as. Now we didn't get a grenade back, but Top Tree uh, Voidwalker basically has this thing that on melee kills, you basically get a grenade back. You know, if you if you have no grenade energy whatsoever, it might not give you a full grenade back, but if you've got half, it will. So we'll, we're just going to leave one enemy. There we go, and there's my grenade. It just drains the, the, the enemy of its life force. Now we've got another two barrier champions. So the same drill again, we're going to charge a grenade, drop the grenade on top of it, so as you can see, we're going to go down to here, so we're right in front of him, but we can still stay out the way of his kind of laser. And we're going to try and crit as much as possible. And if you do that, and you're putting the good good damage on, they won't get their shield up. So here we go, we just charge a grenade. And now we can't properly crit, so he's going to get his shield up. But it, it didn't really matter. So now 21% delirium, so I can save on some energy. There we go. And I got and I got special. That's what I mean when I say energy, I mean special. It's just some <laughs> I call some things some weird things sometimes. So that made no sense. I call some things some weird things sometimes. You know what I mean. Anyway, so I think in the normal version, I might have skipped this part, but what I was doing was I was taking out all these enemies, and it's just a waste of time. You can shoot some of them if you want, but there's no point in clearing these enemies because you get so little points for the smaller ones. It's, it's as well just going after all these and having more time at the end. So I'll take out the two snipers because they are elites, so, well, ultras. No, no, they're elites. And then once you've done that, it's up to you. You've got two options now. You see all those enemies there? I'm going to drop a grenade on them. But there are a couple of champions here. So you're hoping to get a grenade back in time for the next champion. Which is over to our right. There's two overload champions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a grenade right on top of all those. And hope I get a full grenade back. If I don't. Which I didn't. Then if, if the overload champion sees you. He will just come after you. You can see he's coming after me, so I'm just going to back away until I get my grenade. Because the only feasible way to attack these guys is, is with the grenade. Now, as you can see, we lucked out a little bit there. Because normally I would take that Centurion out before I attacked all those ads. He comes up as, as soon as you've took down the snipers. He comes up a couple of seconds later. He actually stopped. He It, it was through him that the Overlord Champion never... Never come and charge me. So now I've got a, a charge grenade and I've got my super. So we're going to put a charge grenade. We're just going to wait for him to go in here. Put one right in front of him and then throw a super. Hopefully the trackers from the super will go after some of the ads in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get get this uh, cabal, this legionary down as fast as possible, which we've done. We'll just burn another shot just... Because we know, I know I've got special. I know I've got special dotted about. And there's one more Overlord Champion. We don't have a grenade just yet. Now, there has been a ton of times where I've fired my super with the grenade and killed both of those champions. So it can happen. Sometimes, it won't. So as you can see, put a grenade on him. Hit him with, hit him with Ariana. And then just finish him off with a scout. That's almost a section done. We've got one more uh, legionary down by the teleporter. We will have some... I normally take out the, the, the cabal, 
a kind of solar shielded cabal that appear because the Ariana will sort them out pretty quickly. So I'm just waiting for the drop pods to come in. And there we go. Now, one shot breaks the shield. I'm trying to save on my special ammo. So once you drop, once you get the drop shield, once you drop the shield, once you get the drop shield, once you drop the shield, it doesn't take a lot after that to kill them. Now, I'm going to jump up here and see what's down there because I, I knew that there was some minotaurs. So I'm not going to, I'm going to put it over, over on that minotaur. I was hoping that those other two guys would, would go and chase after them, but they didn't. But I've nearly got another grenade, so I can just wait. Got my other grenade. Now, this, we lucked out here. Because they both went back over. And the the boss came. And he got affected. He got affected by the grenade, which is why I burnt him so quickly. And I got my, I just about got my grenade back. Which is good for when we get up here. So... Going over this teleporter, once you get over here, you're going to have a heap of enemies, but below, we're going to get a champion. And it's going to be an overload champion. So, we want a grenade. We don't have one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to just boost to the back so I can get a, a view on what's happening. Where all the enemies are, because there'll be some hot... So you see the champion to our left? So, we're just, we're just going to keep moving about until, until we get a grenade. So, don't stand and trade with him. His shots are too... As you can see, he does too much damage. So, we want we want him to see us and we want him to charge. So, here he comes. And we'll put that right down there with the explosive barrel. Just triple, double down on the damage. And then heavy. And just mop up the last couple of enemies. Once you once you've cleared this section, what you're going to have is you've got obviously you've got the switch over here. Then you're just going to get a couple of waves of vex. Now, don't just use your super. Watch watch the ads come in. As you can see, the first wave comes from there. Now, I, what I try and do is let the grenade take care of as many as possible and take out any troublesome ones so that they don't push me like that. There is a, an orange bar. There he goes. Now we've got the second wave. The second wave came in as I was fighting the first wave. So you have to be careful. Remember you've got your rift. That's, there. That's the guys that we're kind of worried about. That's why I used the Ariana. Now we want to take out as many of these quickly as possible. So I try and put that on the Minotaur. And then as you can see it took the Minotaur out. The grenades are so good. Because it kills obviously... You get explosive damage on the kill. So I've got my heavy out because now we're getting these hobgoblins in. We're just going to deal with them really quickly with my heavy. Try and be careful not to get yourself too far out of cover. Be prepared to move. There's no real, in these areas, I'll just put a grenade over there. There's no real stand here and you'll be fine. You have to be... As with as with all kind of things, you know, all strikes, all, all things, you have to be aware of your surroundings. So we know now, because we've had the hobgoblins, we know now we're going to get the Hydra. So I've thrown my, my super, hoping to kill the some of the big ones, and, and, and we didn't get the Hydra. So I'm just going to put that over there. And we didn't get the Hydra. Now I've noticed something happens here, which is quite strange. You can see that. Hydra's still shooting at me. Now, it's happened to me before with this, that the enemies, it's, it's happened, I've heard other people saying that, 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 that part, the enemies will still da try and damage you even though they're not there. So when you get across here, as you can see that even on match game, the Ariana does a good job against shields. But it's helped by the fact that, as you can see there, the, the, the harpies are doing damage to those shields. So now we'll just take these harpies out with, uh, that's why I've went for Ark. You only really deal with arc and uh, arc and void here. So match games on always is on the nine fifties. So that's why that that kind of dictates that dictates my loadout, which is good that we've got these mods that can take care of some of the champions. So we've got a champion here. We're just going to put a grenade and see if we can clear as many of the ads at the back as we can. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about the. 
the wanted guy. He even with a grenade on him, he's just he's he he's a drain. He's a drain on your resources. I'll just try and take out the disruptor guy here. He's a drain on your resources for very little points. In fact, I don't know if you noticed the cabal bosses. I'm trying to take out the smaller guys with the world's worst grenade. I keep I've said this before in videos and it's the truth. I'm not making it up. When you go from having fastball, which is increased grenade throw, to not having fastball on, um, I think my controverse holds might have it on. Well, they have got it on because it's your gauntlets you get it on. When you go from having it to not having it, it takes you a while to readjust. And as you can see, I haven't been using the controverse holds. So, and again, if you're fighting a red bar enemy, the Ariana's Vow will cut through their shield. It might take a couple of shots because they're red bar, but bearing in mind, we are talking about uh, we are talking about match game. So it should you shouldn't actually be able to break their shields as quickly as that. But that Ariana Vow is just so good. So I waited for the wanted to go, and now we're we're prepping myself for the boss. So when you get to the boss, we're going to clear enemies here because we have got another champion here. We've got a bar uh, a champion barrier champion, I think, in the center. So we're just going to make it that we can we can fight this barrier champion without having to deal with any of the the delights of these the, the enemies that will you know take our take our focus away and potentially kill us actually. Uh, you have to be really careful here. And the other thing you've got to be careful about trying to get my grenade. The other thing you've got to be careful about is that these that you don't get hit by the drills. And that the hobgoblins don't get hit by the drills, which pushes them behind you. It doesn't always kill them. Sometimes it just drags them along. So keep an eye on your surroundings. And we'll just take this enemy out. We've got a couple of snipers in the distance that we want to take care of. Now, I've found that the snipers these days, in these areas, since we've got the champions, they're, they're much less aggressive. So as you can see, if you don't miss... There we go. Now we've got another sniper up top. I think this one took me a little bit more. As you can see, you can just shoot through the shield. And if you're not taking constant shots, you can just normally finish them off quite quickly. Put my put my rift down now. As you can see, I, f I feel like I felt as if at the time, maybe it was because the flinch I was taking. It's it's something worth thinking about that I think that the area the Ariana suffers from the same problem as, as snipers. It suffers from massive flinch, and that that's that's a problem. The how much flinch you deal with. So as you can see, pretty easy there. There's still some enemies up. We don't have to bother, but we're just about at a hundred thousand before the boss comes out. We're going to be a hundred thousand. Uh, so. The kind of things to know here is you want a grenade. We kept a we you know we, we kept a super. And what we're going to do is, the game plan for the boss is very simple, very simple. Once you clear these ads, we're going to put a grenade for where the boss walks into. Then, we're going to throw a grenade, at the you know we're going to charge a grenade and throw it to where the boss walks into. Then we're going to hit him with our super. So, charge grenade. Which will weaken him and, and lower the output of damage that he can do. Hit him with a super, and then we're going to put quite a you know as many shots as we can with the Ariana into his head. Now he's going to go. So same deal when we go down to the the next the next level. We'll find the the short platform so that we can hide behind it and still shoot over it. Now at this point you have to be careful here. That's why you can see me moving right up. You really have to head glitch the boss here or he will keep hitting you. So we're just I'm only hitting him with the primary just just to find out when he starts taking damage. So when he starts taking damage, I will jump up, put now as you can see, jump up, put a grenade on him. You want to do that when he does his ground pound. Put a few shots on him there. Ariana does does quite a bit of damage. You want to do that so he can't shoot your grenade. So when he does his ground pound, 
The reason I didn't want to waste the grenade is because I wasn't sure if I wasn't sure if he was going to stay immune for the whole whole thing. So I didn't I didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was weaken that last enemy so I could mail him and get my get my grenade back. So what we're going to do now is we're using this block in front of us because this is position A. So we are in position A. The boss battle works. When the boss starts sprinting, you're going to get a wave of ads. They're not going to be much. They're going to be some hobgoblins and a couple of harpies for the first wave. So we're going to use this position to fight. We're going to have to fight the waves. Why? Because the way we've set our character up, the way the character's set up, he's not set up without the super to do massive fast boss damage. We need our super. So... We're going we're gonna to actually, and a lot of people that's maybe watched my videos probably don't know the way the mechanics of this boss battle works. I have done this in previous videos, but, you know, we're so used to seeing bosses getting melted. So this is his first position. He won't move from here until we put the next level of damage on, which is about half. You know, get, get him under his, his last health bar. I'll just go and get this special. And this is where we're going to defend from now. He will move over to the stairs down there. And that's where he's going to stay. Now, you can see what I'm doing here. This is a great way to put damage on him. Is make sure your cover... It doesn't matter if you can see him. Just make sure you're in cover from his left arm. Which is what does his uh, normal attack. His heavy attack is from his right arm. Now, he will normally only do his heavy attack if he sees you. But sometimes... He'll just do it anyway. So I'm just going to use the area just to quickly take that enemy out. We've got our rift. If you do get pushed, remember, Ariana does a lot of damage. So there we go. We've just got back into cover. We've put our rift down. We're safe. The reason we were taking all that damage from the harpies, the harpies, because I strayed, I strayed too far back, and I could be seen from the from where we're facing now. I could be seen from behind the pillar I'm next to, but from the back. So far left. So make sure you keep this pillar as your cover from everything. And then basically, we are going to try and... We've got our super. We're going to wait till we get the super. Throw a grenade on him. Throw a super. The grenade weakens him to the point where the super kills him. Easy as you like. Work the positions. Watch watch the positions back. Watch the positions. Play the, play the, the positions. Make sure when he moves, you move. Have an idea where the ads are going, where they're coming from, and all of you guys can do this. I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, a like rating would be awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.